Hi guys, Fanny Ann here and today when I was getting ready to go out I went to put a hat on and I've come to a conclusion that I am a collector. People would say hoarder but I'm going to say a collector of fine things and one of those things being many many a hat. So we're going to look through my many a hat today and they're all so very fabulous. So let's start with the first one. It's a plain and simple beanie. You look like a skater chick. Next, another plain and simple beanie. A burgundy one this time. I don't quite know how I feel about this one or why I own it. I have literally worn this hat once because I look like a fucking clown. This one's cute. I look Russian. I saw your vodka from back of van, yes? You have vodka with me? And we drink lots of vodka together. And you look at my balls on the end of my strings. They are very nice, yes. This one is even more Russian. If you look at it, it's not really a hat, it doesn't have a top bit. But it's very Russian and I feel like I should be drinking vodka in snow. And you join and we all drink vodka. Stereotypical Russian there. It's a very seaside, very British seaside. This is just a cute one. A cute in the snow one. And when it's snowing, I enjoy this one. Now this is my stereotypical cockney pork pie hat. Alright governor, apples and peas. This one's my Bugsy Malone Theodora. Uh, burgundy, as you can see. I have many colours of this and I will show you all of them. The grey one. The grey Fedora. We could have been anything that we wanted to be. Somebody stop me! Pure mask cat. <laughs> I love this hat. I've not had an opportunity to wear it. I'm hoping to go to a fancy dress party dressed as the mask and just wear this hat. I look sick. This is my um, mustachioed hat. Mustachio. Mustachio hat. Yeah, it's fabulous. This is my hat of my initial on it. Obviously, to you guys, it's an F, but it's really actually a C because it's for Caroline. So, yes. This is the hat I wear quite a lot. My black fedora. Jesse. I am the one who knocks. Best Huggersburg impression 2015. Fanny I like Care Bears. I also like polar bears. Black peak is on peak. Never ever wear it forward because it's like red and green. It's Christmas colours. I look like an idiot. <laughs> this is one of my favourites because I asked, I said to my mum that she knows I rock every hat and I was like can I, I really want a raccoon skin hat and then for Christmas she got me one and it's so cool and I look like Jebediah Springfield and I love it. This is my elephant hat that I got at a festival because everyone was buying animal hats and I saw the elephant and thought, do you know what? Fuck yeah. And a funny story, some woman thought it'd be appropriate to wank off the trunk of my elephant. It wasn't appropriate. I didn't know who she was and I didn't know what to do. And I was a bit like, why are you touching me with your weird festival hands? It's the best hat I own. I just want to... It looks... That's fab. Like yes. This is one of my collections. This is my Lord of the Rings collection. As you can see, I have books, DVDs, a little Gandalf in the corner, a necklace, a plaque with the like original film cell in it, Hobbit books, my bobblehead golem, blip, uh, a wine glass with the description on it, a little band with the description on it, and the ring. Uh, I collect shoes. And even more shoes over here, yes, fab. My biggest pride and joy is this beautiful, beautiful DVD collection that is in genre order because I'm clearly sad. But there's some here that I need to I need to put in order, these ones here. I haven't done them yet, but they will go in order as soon as I can bother to do them. But yeah, that's my collections. I clearly have some sort of problem. So yeah, thank you for coming and seeing Mini Hats McGee and noticing all of our collections. I probably do have some sort of issue. I also have many of clothes, many necklaces. I just don't chuck stuff out. It's not like I go out and splurge. I just collect and then don't chuck anything out. So yeah, but my Lord of the Rings collection needs to get a bit bigger. It needs to be a powerful body of work. So eventually that will be huge. So yeah, thanks for coming and seeing me today. If you enjoyed it, then push those lovely little buttons at the bottom. I do really appreciate it. And remember to follow your dreams no matter how small they are. And I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Bye!
Jolly Two Hats. That's a reference. If you know what that is, kudos to you. And you get a Fanny Ann gold sticker. That's worth 3,000 euros and you can buy a ring with a Mexican ant in it. Another reference. Again, kudos. Because it's a great program.